Hi, this is question number two from the AQA Mechanics 1 January 2012 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to see if you can try this question. So if you'd like to pause the video now and give it a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at that. Um, I'm now going to go over some hints as to how you could go about answering the question. So we've got this block of mass 4 kilograms. Um, and it's made to move in a straight line on a rough horizontal surface by a horizontal force of 50 newtons as shown in this diagram here. Now um, we need to assume that there is no air resistance acting on the block. So for part A we're asked to draw a diagram to show all the forces acting on the block. Um, so you need to be careful here thinking about taking into consideration all the forces and bearing in mind that we've been told that this is a rough horizontal surface. Okay, um, part B says find the magnitude of the normal reaction um, of force acting on the block. Um, so in order to work that out you would need to resolve this um, vertically. Um, remembering that um, vertically it's in equilibrium. Part C um, says the acceleration of the block is 3 meters per second per second um, and we need to find the magnitude of the friction force acting on the block. So we might need to use Newton's second law here, um, force is equal to mass times acceleration. Now remember we're talking about the net force horizontally is equal to mass times acceleration. Part D says find the coefficient of friction between the block and the surface. Um, and because um, this, is, this isn't in, a, in equilibrium horizontally, um, there is motion, so the friction must be at its maximum. And we want to use the formula um, for friction is the frictional force um, FR is equal to um, and because it's um, it's at its maximum we would say it's equal to the coefficient of friction times by the reaction force. Part E um, says explain how and why your answer to part D would change if you assume that air resistance did not act on the block. So if there was an additional force that was taking place that was resisting motion how would that affect the frictional force and how would that affect the coefficient of friction? Okay, those are my hints. So if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at answering those questions. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at that. I'm now going to go over the full solutions of this question. I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room to work in over here. Um, so question 2A we are um oops I won't use red um we are um asked to draw a diagram a force diagram um and in fact I'm going to draw my force diagram over here so um we're going to have the 50 newtons that we've been told um that's uh, taking this forward We're also going to have um, the weight. I usually write the um, the mass inside the box. Okay, so we're going to have a um, weight that's going to be four g, and we're also going to have a frictional force. Um, and I'm just going to call that F R for frictional force um, and I'm also going to have a reaction force going up ok and just over here the direction of motion is going to be this way so I'm just going to say that we're going to have an acceleration acting in this direction here ok um, and I'll write part A over there Okay, um, so that's part A, um, and now part B. 
says find the magnitude of the normal reaction force acting on the block so it's in equilibrium vertically um, so that means that all the um, upward forces must be equal to the downward forces so that means R must be equal to 4G okay um, which is um, 4 times 9.8 so R is going to be equal to and 4 times 9.8 is 39.2 newtons okay and there you go we've got the reaction force now part C the acceleration of the block is 3 meters per second per second we want to find the magnitude of the friction force acting um, on the block so um, we've got 50 newtons going this way we've got friction opposing it this way um, and we've got acceleration of 3 meters per second per second so using um, Newton's second law I can say well F is equal to MA um, so my net force is going to be I've got 50 newtons acting in the direction of motion so um, that's going to be my positive force so 50 and then I've got my friction that's opposing um, that and acting away from the direction of motion so I'm going to take that away and that's going to be equal to the mass which is 4 times by the acceleration um, which we've been told is 3 meters per second okay so um, that means well um, my um, mass times acceleration is 12 so my frictional force is going to be equal to 38 newtons okay um, part D we want to find the coefficient of friction between the block and the surface so we said earlier that we were going to use um, this formula here um, because we um, know that um, our frictional force is going to be at its maximum um, we can say that our frictional force is equal to the coefficient of friction times by the reaction force if it was still in equilibrium then we would say that this is less than or equal to um, mu r anyway so um, we know our frictional force is 38 newtons so I can put 38 in there is equal to and um, our reaction force is 39.2 so that's going to be mu times 39.2 or 39.2 mu um, which means our coefficient of friction is going to be equal to 38 um, divided by 39.2 um, and that works out to be 0 0.969 okay and um, moving on to part E um, we want to um, explain how and why our answer to part D would change um, if we assume that air resistance did not act on the block so um, if <coughs> well if there was air resistance um, that would because that's the direction of motion our air resistance would be acting in um, this direction here okay so that would mean that we would have um, less friction force okay so um, friction force would be less so friction force would be less well what would that mean well if our frictional force would be less our reaction force would stay the same um, which means that our coefficient of friction um, which is this here um, would also be less so our um, so mu our coefficient of friction um, would be less as well okay so uh, that's everything um, I hope you found that useful thanks very much for joining me I look forward to seeing you again soon take care